alpha droid based on android 13 for poco f1 let's see how to install this newest in the town so at the very first time to install this rom we need the rom.zip file for that you just have to go to telegram channel I will link down this telegram channel link in description box below. So on this telegram channel you will see that this is the notification which is saying about the alpha droid rom. So simply you just have to go to this notification and download this rom. Moving towards the file explorer you will see that this is the zip which we actually need to flash our rom and also all the files. From this we won't be using the gaps as we will be using the gapps pre-installed version. So now long press the power button and boot inside the recovery. So this is the TWRP recovery make sure you use the latest TWRP recovery. So as shown you just have to wipe all the partitions as you usually do including system ext. Once wipe you just have to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded your rom and all of the other required files. So this is the required files and also this is the file which we actually need which is the firmware. Now click on add more zips and now select the rom.zip file. So this is the rom.zip file which we actually need. Click on that and now you just have to swipe to confirm the flash. As you can see this is the firmware which is getting flash first and after that you will see that the rom will be flash. The flashing of rom will take about a minute so wait until then. So let's now fast forward this video. So as you can see that the rom has been successfully flashed and also you can see that the firmware and all the prerequisite are has been flashed successfully. Now you just have to go back click on the mount and mount your vendor. After clicking on mount the vendor you just have to go back or click on the home button and again navigate to the install where you have your android 13 installation file and this time you have to select this dfe file that is disable force encryption so that we won't get any issues with respect to encryption so in a half of second this file will get installed and now you just have to navigate to home and now and boot your phone into the system so once you click on boot your rom will start booting and uh, let me tell you guys that as usual rom booting will take about some 5 minutes or maybe sometimes more than that but have some patience as the rom will boot eventually and you don't have to click on any of the button until then so fast forwarding after a 2 minutes you will see that the alpha droid logo will be appearing on your screen and finally your rom will get booted successfully after that you just have to set up your device like you usually do for all of your devices so now this is something as a language setup which i will be setting up and also all the other stuff clicking on get started as usual it will first ask you for network mobile and also some wi-fi settings so i will meet you guys after setting up this device so here we go so now you can see that my device is set up successfully with all the information of my account and all the other stuff so at the first look you can see that it has some customization option inside the tiles and moving into the setting this is something the first look of the rom inside the setting where you will get alphabet something where you will have all your customizations and also moving down scrolling down at the bottom you will see the about phone information where you will get all the information regarding the security patch kernel and all the other stuff so this is the detailed information where you will get the android 13 version and all the other information as you usually see in all the about phone section so the interface and the feel at the first look seems a little different with respect to all the other roms though it's the android 13 rom but still it's a little different as you can see at the front they have this battery indicator and something called as the alphabet which they naming as the customization section so that's it for this video guys hope you like the installation process and also let me know down in comment section below if you want the complete review of this rom till then see you guys again in the next one and also till then peace out